VIP. Let's kick it. Hola, ¿cómo estás? I'm Olivia. And I'm Liam. And, and this, this is, is the HB Buzz on November 20th, 2012. Today's lineup is Art HB Buzz, Art Feature, and Outside the Hive. Today's lunch is Chicken Patty on a Bun or Barbecue Beef Riblet on a Bun. Ro red Roasted Potatoes, Steamed Corn, Variety Fruit, and, and the wonderful, fantastical, ice cold milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is breakfast pizza. Yum! Today's weather is a high of 50 and a low of 36. It's gonna be sunny! Today, today's birthdays are Estella Solberg and Annette Tercios. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you! Time for announcements! On Thursday and Friday, due to our Thanksgiving break, there will be no school. Now to the art feature, where they will tell you about making mugs. Bye! Bye. Hi, I'm Mia and this is Danielle. We're from Willow 3 and we have been working on our art clay dragons this week. Danielle, what's your favorite thing about um, clay art dragons? I like that um, you get to do it, and um, I like how we get to make them into dragons. What is your dragon going to look like? Um, it's it's, um, it's going to be fat. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, really cool. What is clay called after its first drawing? Leather hard. Awesome. Hi, I'm Mia and this is Ryan. We're from Willow 3 in Miss Schroeder's class. We're sixth graders working on our clay art dragons. Ryan, what's your favorite thing about the clay art dragon? My hands get dirty. <laughs> um, what's the ingredient for clay? Um, crushed rocks, organic material, and water. Nice. This is Eric, and he's also from Willow 3 in 6th grade, and he's working on his clay art dragons, too. Yes. Eric, what's your favorite thing about the clay art dragons? I get to mold it into whatever I want. What is it called when you need the clay to get all the air bubbles out? I need mean, wedges. Good. Hey, look, this camera. Does that one work? Hello, camera. I have clay. <laughs> Don't show mine. It's really bad. Look at mine. It has a fat in it. Mine's lost. Is it because of when you send your stuff? Yeah. He has videos. I know. Oh. I'm worried. Please don't put that on the bus. <laughs> Is it? Are you? Restart. Hello. Hello. I restart. This is like dough. Now to outside the hive. Bye. What's up? I'm Olivia. And I'm Paige. And, and this, this is, is Outside, Outside the Hive. Today's topic is famous potters. Our first potter is Maria Martinez. Maria Martinez was born in 1881 and she was born to the Pueblo Indians. Really? Cool. Our next potter is... William Brownfield. 
William Brownfield was mostly known for his work with, mar with modeled uh, jugs. The jugs often had his initials WB carved into them. Our next potter is Josiah Wedgwood. Josiah was born in Burism on July 12, 1730. In 1759, he set up his own pottery works in Burism. That's so cool. Here's the, black, here's the next one. It's Thomas Minton. He popularized the famous willow pattern. John Asbury is our next potter. He created functional products including mugs, various shaped bowls, and teapots. Thomas Toft is our final one. He is best known for his 17th century slipware. Oh no! What's the matter? We're all out of time. Oh well, see you tomorrow on the HB Buzz. See you, see you later! later. Alright, stop, collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a hawk moves daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chunk like a candle. Dance! Caress the speaker that boom.